In today's tech tip video, we are going to introduce the SWID Cam Copy utility. If we go to Tools and SWID Cam under Utility, we can see Cam Copy. And the reason that they've created this utility is for assemblies like this, where if we open the part up, we can see that there is no cam data. So the cam data doesn't exist on this part. So this assembly has already been created um, and the cam information was not on it. So if we want all of our tool paths to be added to these panels, what we can do is we can take that information from an existing panel and use that on the new assembly. So I'll open up the existing panel so you can see the panel is here. This is our SWID cam tab and you can see we've got a whole bunch of different tool paths and a full program in here. So I want to copy this whole program and I want to attach it to the other assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and choose tools SWID cam, utility, and cam copy. So these parts do not need to be open in order to do this. Inside the SWID cam copy window, you can see we have a few buttons at the top. We've got a load configuration. So if we have a previous configuration that has been created, we can use that in order to copy to any new files. We have the option of saving the configuration. So again, once I open this part up into SwoodCam copy, I can actually save that as a configuration to use in the future. Um, and you can see that the mode is currently called copy or we have an option for duplication. So I'm going to copy again from this existing file. So I'm going to search for my source file. You can see as I hover over source file, the window over here, um, a box shows up and I can click on the little arrow button and I can find my part. So there's the part that I'm going to copy the tools pass from. I'm going to go ahead and choose open. So there's the part and you can see in the left hand side I've got my programs here. So anything that I've added into the cam data will be showing on the left hand side here so you know that that information is there. We've got a parameter section and a filter section. These are used if we want to add in any kind of conditions or extra features that we want to um, associate with the, the program or we can delete and replace existing programs or add new ones. So if something's already existing there and we don't want to overwrite it, we want to just add a new program to it, we can do that there too. So then I need to apply this to an existing file or an existing assembly. You can see we have open target part, open target directory, so we can apply this to a whole folder, and open target assembly. So mine was an assembly file. I'll choose that, and then I'm going to go ahead and find the assembly file. So now that I've found the assembly, I can go ahead and choose open. You can see all of the parts are listed in the list here. We have the option of opening them or removing them. So again, if we have parts here that we maybe don't want to add the cam data to, uh, maybe some hardware or something like that, we can remove them from this list. If I'm happy with that and I've got all of the parts in here that I need, I can go ahead and press the play arrow. And that's going to go through and add my cam data to all of these files. I can then close my SWID cam copy. This is going to ask me if I do want to save this as a configuration. Um, so we have a save option, and save as up here. I'm not going to save this one, but in the future, if we wanted to, we could do that and use that for any new programs. So now if I open up my assembly, if we open up one of these parts We can see if we switch over to the SWID cam tab that all of the tool paths are there. So it's just a really quick and easy way to apply a CNC program to your existing SOLIDWORKS parts. These parts do not need to be made in SWID design. They can be just regular SOLIDWORKS parts and then we can apply the SWID data to them.